This is Tanya Lynn with the Sistership Circle podcast. From spirituality, sexuality, and sisterhood to business, relationships, contribution, and creativity, the Sistership Circle podcast introduces a new model of feminine leadership where women get real and vulnerable about it all. Tune in for authentic advice that will empower you to be bold, beautiful, and brilliant as your true self. Hi everyone, it's Tanya Lynn with our Sistership Circle podcast and our How to Lead Circle series. And I'm so excited. We got such a treat because we have one of the original How to Lead Circle participants with us today. Kristen Peoples has Hi. been around for a while. <laughs> I have. I so have. cool. <laughs> yeah. So welcome, Kristen. I'm Thank so you. happy that you're going to share your experience today. Thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah. So where I've been starting with everyone is just sharing how, first of all, you found Sistership Circle. What, what led you to want to start a circle in the first place? Wow. So going way back. Yeah, way, way. <laughs> if you can even remember how you found me. <laughs> yes. Um, I, I believe I can remember. Um, I'm a yoga teacher and um, there's been a couple of different uh, events that I've attended that are kind of like a circle. It was just more informal type gathering of women. And so um, you know how Facebook is. They kind of know everything. So um, once you get out there and start searching for things, um, Tanya, your um, sistership, and it was called something a little different at first. And that Mastery. came up. Yeah. So that mm-hmm. came up. And um, once I went in, I started doing my research. I read everything that you had there. And um, I went to the page and then I went to the website and then I was like super excited. I'm like, this is what I've been looking for, even though I didn't know that's what I was looking for. So um, from there, I just reached out to you and then um, we just kind of, we were going to get started. This was the thing we were going to get started and I was so excited and then life happened <laughs> And I had to put it on hold before I could even start, which was just crazy. But we kept in touch. And, um, you know, I kept saying, I'm going to do it. I'm, I know and I know this is my path and I know that I need to do it. And um, maybe about six months later or something like that. And then um, I began the journey from there. And it's been life changing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Definitely. I remember those conversations and I remember yeah. just really rooting for you. Like you mm-hmm. were one of those women who I was just really taking a stand for because I knew how much you wanted it. And then I remember stuff coming up and it was like, yes. I just, I, I don't have capacity for this right now yes. um, with stuff coming up in your life. And, yes. and then, and it was like, you know, just, I knew that it was going to happen at some point Mm -hmm. and um, you were, I remember really wanting you to be in that how to lead circle course. And then it just, it just all worked out beautifully. Yeah. Perfectly. Yeah. And and it was kind of like at the first um, opportunity, I was kind of pushing my way through and it was, it was very hard. It was very tough and it was uphill, but um, it was more organic the next time where it just seemed that all the pieces came together and you know, the planets aligned and then we began. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. I'd love to hear your story too of what was it about Circle? Like <clears throat> why, why, why did you want Circle for you and for the women in your community? Well, um, to start with, for me, I have never really had a lot of women friends. Um, I know lots of women, but I was never really close to them. It almost always seemed like competition sometimes or something else, personality things. So I never really felt that, you know, they were there for me in, in that way. I had lots of guy friends and that kind of thing, but 
I really felt like I missed out on not having them. So that kind of piece of me reached out to the program that, you know, I think it was something I was always missing. And then I just wonder, you know, if I'd had that all along, where would I be now? You know, just more in touch with my feelings and um, just being able to really feel like um, my sisters are there for me and, um, you know, being able to share some of your deepest moments with them. So I think that's what drew me there. And then once you're in it, <clears throat> excuse me, once you're in it, you want others to have it as well. So, you know, once I'm there and I'm like, wow, this is amazing. And, um, you know, there should be other women that probably feel like me as well. So then I wanted to take it to my community. And my community is kind of a suburban rural type thing um we're kind of between cincinnati and columbus so we're just kind of in that midpoint and there isn't a lot of things you know we can go and paint somewhere as women or you know we can go and do some activity but it's more on the top layer you know you really want to get in and you you really want to like kind of bond with other women and that was just my reason for pushing for it here. And you bring up a really great point there of so many women um, are in a small town, they're not in a big city, and they think that there's not enough women mm -hmm. to actually come to their circle. Right. And you've done it. I have. Many <laughs> so yeah. I want to hear about that. I want to yeah. hear about. Um, what had you overcome that limited belief that there's not enough women mm -hmm. if you had it in your mm -hmm. mind um and also now the the success of your of the circles that you've had how mm -hmm. how it's grown so can you share some of that yes um so i i believe the most um the biggest portion of that was myself and my limiting beliefs that there aren't any women around or they won't really want to do anything like that, you know? And it was just the confidence by going through the program to put myself out there and say, you know what, the women who should be here will be here at my circle. And it started small, you know, maybe four or five women. Um, and then it's kind of grown. So you get all of the you know, from the, the women that are there, they talk to their friends, and then you start to kind of grow it, um, you know, within the community. And so I kind of touched on some of the yoga community as well to, um, you know, use the space for the circles, and that helped as well to kind of um, increase the amount of sisters that come. And so since then, it's, it's really grown, yeah. Yeah, and that's brilliant because I think a lot of women um, sometimes feel like maybe they don't have enough of a network, mm -hmm. but there are existing networks. And I think one of the best networks out there for women who want to start Circle is yoga networks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So getting hooked up with a studio, getting hooked up with um, a current uh, client base, yes. and then offering that to that community. Um, and whether that's a yoga studio, whether that's a chiropractor, mm -hmm. you know, anything that would be remotely close to spiritual or um, holistic health, I think we can, as circle leaders, give our offering to that existing clientele. And yes. you did that. So yes. thank you for sharing <laughs> that. It's brilliant. And it's really just asking the question, you know, it might be your yoga studio or your chiropractic office, or it may not be, you know, if, yeah. it, if you think it's a great spot, you know, just go in and talk to them. I had two spots um, within the past year where I just went in and talked to them. I'm like, this is a great spot. I just feel like it would be a great spot for circle. And I talked to them and they were immediately like, yes, let's do it. And so you just never know unless you ask. That's something that I do a lot is um, I'll just go to a website or you know, like, in the, you know, go into a yoga studio and just intuitively feel into 
how I feel about this place or even just a website and I can know it's amazing how much our intuition can actually lead us mm-hmm. to a yes. And that a lot of times when we trust that, those are the people who are resonating with what we're wanting to do. And it's just that synergy that happens. So I'm glad that you brought that up as well around having a couple different options and then you feeling into what, what feels like a match for you. And then boom, yes, they're like, of yes. course. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. And it was no question. They were like, yes, of course. So mm-hmm. it just, you know, it's um, very fulfilling to know that, you know, what you're doing, someone feels like it's a great thing and they want to try it, even though they haven't been to a circle and they haven't heard of Sistership Circle. They just want to try it based on what you said. So mm. it's great. great. Okay, so we're going to rewind the tape back to <laughs> how long has it been? That was in oh 2016 mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that you did, spring yes. of 2016 that you did How to Lead Circle. If you yes. can remember back that far, I know <laughs> so much has happened since then. So much, yes. What do you remember from the program? Um, what instantly kind of comes to mind of the breakthroughs that you had, some of the experience, the um, what you liked about it, you know, what 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 do you remember as being um, the value for you? For me, um, the immediate value was the structure and kind of a a planned way that the calls were going to go and the training was going to go, and. Um, I love how you hold me to it because I I may always say things like, oh, I have this going on or that going on, but you're always like, well, you know, we're going to be here and, and, um, you know, you need to be on the call. And just even just that someone checking in on you was great. So you kind of think, you know, you're in the back of your mind, you're like, okay, I, I know I need to get on. And then once you're there, you know, the breakthroughs that you have. I've had breakthroughs about my childhood that I hadn't, I didn't even think about. You know, they were there and probably when I was younger, I thought about them more, but I hadn't in many years. And I had a, a lot of thoughts about, I had some miscarriage and things like that. So I had things that I worked through on that. And I never would have before. I feel so much more in touch with who I am and um, where my journey is going based on um, taking the lessons and participating. Uh I can't hear you. I had myself on mute um, (laughs) to cut out my background noise. So I was saying one of the things that I'm hearing is that through the circle, through how to lead circle, you really got to connect with who you are as a woman and your, your true self. Yes. Right. Yeah. And I don't think I would have ever been there yet. You know, you don't know Mm -hmm. what you don't know. So you keep kind of going on that same pattern and you know maybe some of the things or choices that you make are because you're feeling this way but you never get to that root cause but now i really feel like i i have and i know a lot more about myself than i ever did yeah so kind of shining light on the shadow um Mm -hmm. going and showing you what you don't know and also holding the safe space for you to open up and go to those places right right yeah and then celebrating you know the successes and um you know just knowing it's kind of all encompassing it's it's your shadow but it's also you know the very positive things that are happening too that we share you know what's when we start circle sometimes we talk about some of the the positive things what are you bringing into the circle and that type of thing so just even having that in mind when you're getting on the call or you're going into circle is great because sometimes you just don't think about it. You just pass it by, you know, and keep going, but it really allows you to think, you know, think about what's happening with you. Yeah. Um, 
Do you remember your first circle? So I do. Can you share with us yeah. that then the process from after how to lead circle to then starting your first circle. I mean, I know that you've been part of the facilitator tribe and that has helped, but yeah. tell us about your first circle that you did. And they, if you can remember back to that experience. Yeah. yeah. Um, my first circle, <laughs> I was so nervous and I don't even know why, you know, it's just so crazy. I am a note taker. <laughs> So I had all of these notes and what I was going to do and, you know, going through card note cards. And I, I went and sat it up. It was at a yoga studio. It was a yoga slash dance studio. And um, so I set up, you know, the experience and I have my candles and, um, you know, then I'm kind of like waiting because I got there really early. So then I'm waiting. Um, and then as they got there, I still felt really nervous. But then after we started talking, it started to dissipate. So I went from, you know, my 10 note cards <laughs> to just kind of letting it flow. Um, and that was so different for me because I'm, I'm like, no, I got to wait. Hold, I got to check my notes <laughs> and see what, what I'm supposed to say um, to um, you know, just kind of flowing with it. And I, I had internalized more than what I thought I had. Um, so I was able to run my circle and there were four women there. And afterwards the, the feedback was so great that, you know, I was like, I'm ready to do another one, you know, just right away. And I, I guess I wasn't expecting that it was, and it was more of a confidence thing. Like I wasn't expecting that they would want to um, spend time with me like that. And that kind of goes back to the women um, relationships too. But sh when they shared out and, you know, we all sat together, it was just, it was just how it was supposed to be. And it was amazing. It was great. What were some of the thoughts going through your head when you were nervous? Um, that I was going to fail, that they were going to not laugh at me, but, you know, kind of smirky, like, oh, I'm not going to be back here. Or what was she thinking? You know, that kind of thing. Or that I wasn't good enough to um, have an energy exchange, you know, come as a result of me holding circle. and um that wasn't the case it was just no. you know, your nerves you know the first time you do something is hard but um you know once you get past that you can really just kind of grow from there and i i've seen that growth in myself yeah and so um what's been the growth that you've experienced now with your circle um, so we started at four and it's in a couple of different um, spots. So I have two yoga studios that I um, have circle. So I've gone from just four women to in the spot that's closest to my home, we have 12. And then the spot that was the beginning spot, there are eight. So that's a big change from you know four yeah. women who happened to see my um, Facebook post and um, said oh yeah I'll give it a try mm. Mm. so cool yeah and are you charging I am charging yeah I am and that was a whole another thing too like I just talk thought, to me we'll about that do, we'll just do a love offering you know that's what I was thinking you know but there is a lot that goes into holding space. So um, you have to um, just go ahead and say it is what it is. And the ones who are supposed to be there will come. And so on that first circle, instead of doing the love offering, I charged. And I didn't do, you know, like the prepay thing. And I've kind of toyed with that some. But I've charged ever since and it's been fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's been fun to receive yeah, money. Yeah. 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 You know, afterwards you're just like, wow, you know, I, I did this and mm. you know, I put 
a lot into it. And as a result, this is, you know, the exchange and it's, I love it. I love it. So cool. Yeah. So amazing. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I'm just so proud of you. So cool Thank to watch the, the growth and experience. And so now what are you wanting to create and, and what's, what's on the horizon? Well, I love having the in-person circles, but I also want to kind of grow it out to an online presence as well. I have a few women who've talked to me about being in circle, but they can't come here. So kind of my idea is to move out, move forward, and, and just see where it takes me. I don't have any plans and I'm just going to see, you know, where it grows. And that's kind of been my plan all the way through. And it's kind of, it's really grown for me. Mm, great. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, so for all the women who are looking to start their first circle and mm -hmm. considering taking the how to lead circle program, mm -hmm. what would you say to them? I would say do it. Um, do not second guess yourself. Don't wait. Don't let life come <laughs> and try to knock on the door and keep you from um, participating. Just do it. And you will find that you won't even know yourself from the day that you start. You'll be totally different and it will just be an amazing journey. You'll love it. Mm. Thank you. And for those of you in Ohio, there will be a link um, to Kristen in the show notes below so you can check that out. Yes. Thank you so much, sister. Thanks for being part of this and, and being part of the movement. Thank you. Thanks okay. for having me. Yeah.